Welcome or welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to register for ClickWorker, how to set up your profile, how to pass the UHRS English Assessment Test, and how to get started on UHRS jobs so you can actually start getting paid. So the first step is just to open the clickworker.com. Just don't log in here. Just click on the clickworker.com. And then uh, earn money as a clickworker. Uh, you can go through the fine print at your own time, but, but you can make money from anywhere. You can do, you can just go through the fine print. Uh, you are important to us. Microtasking made for you. We don't just provide easy click jobs, but offer interesting and fun tasks as well. Join us in shaping the, the future by participating in AI training, surveys, voice recordings, and photo contests. So... Let's just log in. Let me just show you how to sign up for ClickWorker. So this is actually very basic. You're just going to select your, you're just going to put your details here. I'm just going to put them real fast and then I'll show you how to set up your profile. So this is where you're going to add your your details after you've successfully created your ClickWorker account and you have activated your account using the Gmail link, using the Gmail. After creating your account, ClickWorker will send you an activation email on your Gmail account. After you click it, this is the, going to be the next step. So you're just going to add now your details. In this next step, we're going to show you how to set up your profile so that you can start getting paid on ClickWorker. You're going to enter your payment and tax details so you can pay you can you can get paid. So you can use PayPal, this Pioneer or Pioneer. So the preferred is usually Pioneer. Let's just go to the next step. So then you're going to fill out your ClickWorker profile so you can get the best jobs based on your profile. So I'm just going to fill up this data real quick. You can just fill up this this personal data on your end. It's quite simple and quite straightforward. And the more you set up on your on your personal profile, the more you the more questions you answer, the better you the better jobs you get and the more jobs you get. So highest degree level, I'm just going to go with bachelor's degree. I'm going to say financial economics. So profession, I'm just going to write freelancer. You can write anything here. You can write a content. If you're a content writer, you can write a content writer, freelancer, a virtual assistant, a transcriber, anything that you want to be addressed as your profession. So I'm just going to choose freelancer because that's what that's the definition that works best. That's a title that fits me best.
<clears throat> so for the about me section i'm just going to use chat gpt to write a uh, definition for me So this is what I'm going to use. I'm just going to use till then. Make sure you read it. So if you have a private blog, this is where you can add it languages i'm just going to choose it was just english so i'm just not, i'm just going to stick with that please note if you choose any other language you will have to take a, a language assessment test for each and every single language that you choose for example if you choose german you're going to have to do an, a german uhrs assessment test so i'm just going to go there I'm just going to save selection and then okay I'm just go to the next skills so I'm just going to select product descriptions, advertising text, editorial text. You can only choose five. So I'm just going to choose five. One, I'm just going to choose SEO as well. Just choose reviews. Okay. Then translation. If you're good in translation so you can choose any that you're good at for example if you speak chinese if you speak german this is where you would add your language skills so then now we go to hobbies and know-how so field of so let's just go to food and drinks Then engineering, I'm going to say craft and trades, and this is a hobby, hobby, hobby. Well, if you play video games, this is where you select it if it's a hobby or you know how to. Um, hardware, I know how to edit images, I do know how to. Okay. So, this is where I'm going to remove. So here I'm going to remove hardware and put software. So here, the more you add, the more you'll get better better jobs better uhrs assessment jobs okay
So that's it. Then assessment. So this is now where you. Uh, this is now the other part of the video. I'm going to show you how to pass for the to pass the UHRS uh, qualification test for English. So base assessment test. This is base assessment test. Let's see. So here, the, this assessment is short and simple. All you need to do is register a specific email account, which will later serve as your login data to the UHRS platform. Please make sure to only use the email address we show you in the following step. UHRS access will not be possible if you register the wrong account. Okay. So... You now need to go to sign up on live.com. So let me just open. Make sure you follow the you follow all the steps extra carefully. Step one: If you already have another Microsoft account, Hotmail, Outlook, or live.com, click here to check if you're currently logged into that account. So let me just confirm that I am not logged into any. I think I'm logged into Outlook, but it's going to advise. So click click the link below to open the live.com registration page. Don't access any that page any other way. The link includes a tracking code which is necessary for the connection between Clickworker and live.com later on. So let's just open this as well. So click here to start your live.com registration. Just click. Once you uh, once you are at the registration page, enter the following email address. So I'm just going to copy that and continue. Set a password for of your choice and add all requested profile information. This can be a lifesaver if you should lose access and need to recover the account. So just add your name. Uh, save your details, your birthday. Just I think this is for recover to help in recovering of the account should it ever block. So after you verify that you're actually human, then you have successfully created your account. So I uh, just give it access to your email address. So your live ID has been successfully connected to your Clickworker account. We will set up your HRS access for you shortly. So after that, let's see if we can actually log.
So uh, congratulations, you have successfully completed this assessment. What happens now, the UHRS task will appear now in your job list and you can start working on the available project. Uh, please notice, only accounts with a verified payment method will be able to see a link to UHRS. If you have not yet selected a payment method, or if you still need to verify it, you will see a corresponding message within the task instead of the URHRS link. Depending on your profile, you might also need to verify your native language skills in the ClickWorker app before access to URHRS is unlocked for you. Before you start working, please familiarize yourself with the working URHRS by having a look at our URHRS guide. This guide can also be found in the URHRS task itself. So let's just go to next. There are no further challenges available on this assessment. So, I'm going to assume that I passed this test. So, we'll go to, just a minute. So, we'll go to payment details. We'll try to add the PayPal account again. So your account balance must exit 10, I'm assuming it's dollars, 10 pounds before you can select this payment method. So let's just go to jobs. So here, uh, let's just check out, check out our number one project, UHRS. So this is now where we now register for the UHRS jobs. We now, so... Just please read this on your own time. Just make sure you read to the fine print and you agree. Please read the following instructions carefully and confirm your understanding below. So, HRS is a large scale project made up of various evaluation tasks. Before you begin the assessment, make sure that both build in pop up blockers as well as any installed pop up blocking add ons are deactivated in your browser. If you do not know, if you do not know if your browser has built-in protection, please use your favorite search engine to find out how to check for it. So you just read and then you agree. So the working time for this task will run out in four minutes. Assuming it's five minutes. So let's just finish. So, please wait for 10 seconds while we are activating your UHRS access for the next 8 hours. Then so, I'm just going to try and sign in. I know, I know they said 8 hours, but I'm just going to try and sign in to see if I can actually log in. So this is the email address that they gave me. Make sure you're using the email address that was given to you by ClickWorker. So So yeah, you can see that I'm successfully set up for UHRS. So yeah. So you close. Close. So this is now the UHRS, uh, the UHRS marketplace. This is now where you can get all your jobs. You can make up to four hundred dollars per hour, and I'm going to show you how to pass for each UHRS assessment, for each UHRS assessment test. For the ones, uh, there are some that I have uploaded, but not for all of them. So I'm just going to share how much, how how to pass the assessment test, and for you, and how you can start making up to you know four hundred dollars a week. This. This at this point now everything de depends on is dependent on your effort. So the more you the more you work on this uh, assessment assessment, the more you have the the more you earn. So essentially that is it. If you like this video, please make sure you subscribe. You hit the subscribe button and uh, turn on the notification bell for any notifications once we post our our video. So please let me know if you want to.
uh, to watch videos of me qualifying for the various hit apps on this platform.